Okay, so here we have a live situation. What we're looking at here is the Perfectus 10 Enterprise Console, uh, which is installed as a uh, as a plugin add-in for the VMware Infrastructure Client. Uh, this is something that comes with the Enterprise Console, and that you can uh, quickly and easily set up. So what we can do is uh, we can manage our entire uh, Perfectus agent uh, environment right from the Infrastructure Client in the same way that you would manage your uh, virtual environment from the infrastructure client. And what we're looking at is a VMware ESX configuration for the agents in the ESX environment. So we have servers 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 uh, configured to use uh, virtualization awareness uh, for ESX with vMotion. So we, if we actually take a look at the inventory here, we see that uh, there's an actual resource situation that's going on uh, that we've manufactured on this side of the node. Now we've done this intentionally, we've set vMotion um, and uh, migration to manual so that uh, we can show you how virtualization awareness works. So if we take a look at the virtual machines sitting on this end of the cluster, uh, we have uh, two idle machines and four machines which are using a significant amount of resources. In contrast, if we take a look at this end of the node, we have one machine, which is just machine 7 in our group of servers, which is pretty idle. And if we take a look at a, a real-time view of server number 7, we see that it is, in fact, very idle. Um, it is sitting by itself on its own side of the, uh, on a side of the cluster all to itself. Uh, which is also pretty idle in terms of physical resources. Now, what we're going to do here, um, as you might expect, is go ahead and turn on automatic defragmentation for this machine. Now, uh, we have uh, some minimum period set here for resources, so in about a minute's time, this is going to go ahead and kick off. Now, in the meantime, uh, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at uh, what the actual resource situation is on these two machines, on these two sides of the cluster, and uh, once defragmentation has kicked off, what we're going to do is we're going to migrate uh, this machine from our idle side of the ESX cluster to the busy side of the ESX cluster. And what we should be able to see in real time is that the agent will detect that its resource situation has changed at the physical hardware level, at which point it will pause itself given this particular scenario. Uh, what we also can then do is migrate it back. And as soon as ESX completes that migration, we should see, again, the perfectest agent pick up where it left off and uh, continue uh, uh, with its work. So uh, actually, we can already see here that uh, resource consumption has already kicked off. Did a quick analysis. CPU drops down. The engine is very resource efficient, and off away it goes, working uh, to uh, correct the issues on the on this drive, which we have also manufactured just to make sure that uh, there is work for it to do here. So what we're going to do is just come over to the client, take this machine, drag it up here and uh, start the migration process. So we just click this here, hit finish. Now, uh, as you're probably aware, uh, with vMotion set to automatic using its own thresholds which you can set, uh, it's quite possible that some of these machines would be migrating themselves automatically from one side of uh, the cluster to another. And that's perfectly okay. The agent does monitor that situation. It does switch itself appropriately from one cluster or another one physical uh, uh, hypervisor to another um, and we could we can monitor this um, this movement uh, looks like that migration now is already complete so if we go back to our machine here we can already see that the machine has paused itself so if we actually come here and take a look at the log we do see that our stuff patrol, our automatic schedule, has paused itself because of I.O. activity on the host. So clearly our agent was able to see, uh, go from a situation where there were plenty of physical resources available on the hypervisor that it was currently living on, 
And as we moved it into an environment intentionally where there was going to be resource contention if we ran, if we uh, continued to run, it did automatically pause itself. Now we invite you to try this uh, with any other competitor solution and you will obviously see that virtualization awareness is uh, quite an important thing to have in a virtual environment. It's a level of intelligence that uh, we expect all, all software solutions uh, that work in a virtual environment to ultimately adopt um, years down the line. So what we can do is come back here and let's see if we can just uh, go ahead and switch migration back over. So we have this machine right here. Currently it's on the busy side of the cluster. Once again, if uh, we look at uh, the performance situation over here, um, this is what it looks like. So we can just take this machine here, drag it back into the idle environment. Just click on this and here. And, uh, and just wait for that to, uh, to migrate back over. Now again, the uh, perfectness agent is set to uh, a minimum period of just one minute. So it will wait for an idle situation of about one minute before it will uh, resume consuming resources in order to get its job done. So if we take a look here, it looks like uh, that migration has completed. And uh, if we go back here and take a look, within about a, a minute's time or less, there we go, we see that uh, defragmentation automatically kicks right off. So this is, a, this is a level of resource efficiency that you will just not see with any competitor solution in a virtual environment. And seeing it like this in real time should be pretty powerful. Um, it should show you that uh, using any other type of uh, defragmentation, automatic defragmentation solution, particularly any type that runs automatically in the background, um, is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to have idle machines running arbitrarily whether or not physical resources actually exist. If you're virtualizing your exchange servers, virtualizing uh, SQL or any other mission critical system, which you're probably doing either to save on cost and to improve uh, ease of management, then you don't want automatic defragmentation kicking off on your idle machines uh, knowing that it's going to affect the performance of those busy mission critical systems. So this is a pretty good real-time demonstration of uh, how virtualization awareness works in a virtual environment. We used ESX for this demonstration. Obviously this works in the exact same way with uh, Microsoft Hyper-V and other solutions. And as we mentioned before, when live migration becomes...